Welcome to Cataloged Clutter. We're building sets one card at a time, but we're really examining every one of those cards, no matter how common they are. Today, we have a card from 1997-98 Metal Universe, an insert set, the Silver Slams inserts. Metal always had a lot of insert sets, and 97-98 Metal Universe was no exception. I don't particularly like this card. We often say this is a nice card, ah, this, I don't like this card so much, without really explaining why. We're going to delve into that. Why I don't think this was a very successful insert set, feel free to talk me down, but I don't like it very much. Now, 9798, these Metal Universe cards, they came out first. It was kind of like a Series 1. You had Metal Universe. Then later in the season, Metal Universe Championship came out. That was a separately numbered set. Now, it arrived at the time a Series 2 typically would, so you'll hear people refer to Metal Universe and Metal Universe Championship as Series 1 and Series 2. Um, part of the reason they do this, if you look on the back in the fine print, there's this little number 1 after the word metal. So it really implies that, you know, it's a Series 1, but that's just when they arrived. That n little number 1 could also mean that Metal Universe, of course, was the first of these cards to come out that season. Well, even though Metal Universe was just one half of the Metal cards, there were still six insert sets attached to this Metal Universe. And this Silver Slams, it's a strange set, in my opinion. There's 20 of these cards... They were inserted 1 in 12 regular packs. Um, you saw in the back there, they're numbered out of 20, and they have a double S suffix. So, you know, clearly insert cards, nothing exceptional there. They were meant to feature uh, younger players in the league that kind of had some positive momentum, kind of uh, up-and-coming players. Now, I understand that a set called Metal might like to use this idea of silver as a theme. But what you end up with here is this grayed-out player, this, this black-and-white photo. And the player really gets lost in this iridescent background. I just don't think it's the best idea. Now, the background's very nice. Uh, look at that color there. But <laughs> where's Tom Gugliotta? <laughs> you know, I can't find him. Um, on the back of the card, we get another uh, kind of washed out photo. Um, okay, washed out, I guess, silver. It's a silver photo, right? Um, they're not good photos. These black and white photos. And yeah, the, they just kind of look washed out. That's just the start of the problems, though, with this set, in my opinion. Um, let's go back to the front, and again, really great background. Gotta like that background. Now, here's the thing, though, this purple background. How hard would it have been to use a team color? Uh, like, where did this, this pink-purple come from? I, I don't get it. Um, imagine this card with maybe a blue-green background. Now, that would be really nice. Then, the gray of the player... It's almost like it's highlighting the team colors of the background. I think that would have worked a lot better. They use this pink-purple on the cards with the even numbers. The cards with odd numbers had more of an orange background to them. But again, I think team colors would have made this set much more effective. Then, if you're going to call your insert set silver slams well how about you show a slam where's the dunks you know you, you, you gotta match the name the theme that you're implying and it's not like this is a one-off this tom gugliotta card isn't the only one with this problem if you go through this set well there's i guess we can put it this way there's lots of great dribbling and passing 
in a set called Silver Slams. So, I don't know, just a few of my complaints about this insert set. The one redeeming item on this card is the information on the back. They do remind us here that the last season, Gugliotta led the Timberwolves in scoring, rebounds, and steals. Now, at the time, kind of the, the star power for the Timberwolves, that was being transferred to Kevin Garnett. And it's easy to forget just how solid of a player Tom Gugliotta was, leading in all those categories the previous season. Very impressive. Very impressive. But, yeah, overall, those are my complaints about these Silver Slams card cards. I hope that kind of clarifies. You know, it's easy just to say, I don't, I don't like this card without identifying the reasons. Those are some of my reasons. But, yeah, there you have it. Another card from Metal Universe we're adding. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.